Hey you guys, it's Monica. Hey you guys, it is post-editing Monica. I've actually already uploaded this video to YouTube, but I'm going to be taking it down and swapping it with this copy. Why? Because at this point, I just have to address it. And I guess this is just something I'm going to have to deal with. Um, as this channel grows, but I won't be tolerating negativity and nastiness in the comment section. And if you want to provide something constructive, feel free to do that. But just just being on your high horse, you can click out of this video. Um, so with that said, this video is all about experimentation. I experimented doing something you guys asked in the comments. I would assume that everyone watching this video is an adult and knows how to select things that may potentially come into contact with their body. If you do not know the difference between FDA uh, compliant, food great, food safe, you as an adult, it, just like how you typed in the search bar to find this video, I would hope that you know how to Google and find those answers. I did not explain that in this video because again, I thought the people who were asking those questions in the comments already knew the difference. I'm sorry that I did not explain that in my last video and I'm still not going to explain it in this video because I've already filmed and edited this video. So that part won't be happening. But please Google it and know the difference so the Karens in the comments can really go find them some business. And it's just, for me, it's becoming too much. It's like, I like the comments because we all help each other and it's all very constructive. But when people start finding this channel that aren't on the same vibe and the same vibration as us, y'all gotta go. So if that is you, please click out. And now we'll continue with the video. Okay, and welcome back. So this is the requested part two of our Epoxy Alternatives Tumblr video. And so we have the three tumblers, the triple thick, the Mod Podge, and the Bright Tone, and that's me checking. Um, so yes, I did have them right, so that's what they are. I cut these exact vinyls, just like we have exact glitter. I'll leave the font name below, because I don't remember right now at the moment. And yeah, that's Oracle 651 Permanent Vinyl from Michaels, in case anyone is wondering. I will also link it below. So yeah, you guys really requested this video. You are very interested to see if you could put vinyl on these cups. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm doing it. This is all experimental, show and tell, all that good stuff. There are some, there's some things, but I guess really each cup that I have to say um, to a certain extent. So you can either hop to the parts you're interested in. I will leave timestamps below in the description box. Y'all always check the description box, please. And so this is, I'm about to do the bright tone one. And so I'm just showing you guys how I'm sanding it. And then I'm going to wipe it down with alcohol. And I just want to say that all you <laughs> bright tone fanatics, you can calm it down in the comments. Cause y'all, <laughs> y'all be trying to read me for no reason. And it's just like, y'all be trying to read me on stuff that I talked about. And it's to the point where like, y'all make me not want to post videos. Unfortunately, it's just like the internet really is a cool, cruel place. And I don't know y'all and then I click on y'all page and y'all don't have videos trying to help me and then and I'm about to go on a rant real real quick and then the bright tone man wants to come in the comments telling me to come join their Facebook group to get help and it's just like sir I don't need help I know how to use your product I've talked about your product I have whole videos on your product and why aren't the directions on how to use your product on your website that's like me giving y'all a video and telling y'all the audios over on Facebook it makes no damn sense but I'm off my rant so I probably just won't do bright tone videos on this channel anymore since everyone seems to have a damn problem with it but anyways, I'm going to bring it down and we're going to continue the video. And so this one I want to talk about because this is the Mod Podge one. And as you can see, and like I talked about, it's very much textured. It still sound has that like sandpapery sound. And so it's not going on there. It just didn't want to go on there. And honestly, I'm like, I'm just going to give up and I'm going to tell them it don't work. Don't do it. But that's not how science works. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, I'm going to get this on here no matter what. Even if I have to peel the transfer tape off, which is what you see me doing, you know, separating the vinyl and the transfer tape and just manually pressing the adhesive vinyl onto the cup, which is what I ended up doing. And so I'll show you all a little bit of this. It sped up really fast. It took me probably about five minutes to do it because um, it's not like the easiest thing to do. It's not like necessarily hard. But you just have to be very diligent and very patient and very gentle. So that's how I did end up getting that on the Mod Podge cup. This is how all three look. 
all exactly the same. And so let's go ahead and start our finishes. Um, I'm not going to show you each one. Oh, really quick. You guys always ask me what kind of brushes I use. These are the Craft Smart brushes from Michaels. Love, love, love them. I will leave a link to them below. You get a bunch for like $9. They're super cheap. So, like I said, our, our sealers are the bright tone. And y'all have made me not a fan. Not because I don't like the product. Because I don't like y'all's attitude. Um, the next one is the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. And this is the triple thick. And so let's go ahead and get into the various layers. So I'm not going to show you guys each and every layer because uncut this video was like an hour long. Um, and so I tried to cut it down as much as I can. You know, if y'all, if y'all apparently y'all need to go to the Bright Tone website because I'm doing everything wrong and go to their Facebook page, according to some of y'all in the comments and the Bright Tone people. So I guess, you know, whatever. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm sounding so mean and so bitter. Um, so yeah, so I end up doing in total four layers of Bright Tone, nice thin layers. The one thing, the one thing I will say about Bright Tone that's really nice is that like literally it takes a minute to do a layer like it happens so fast and you can kind of just walk away set it and forget it y'all remember ronco when he used to be like set it and forget it or i'm the only kid that be up and had insomnia in the middle of the night and was watching infomercials let me know if i'm crazy or not and so i'm gonna go ahead and just show you layer one and layer four of the bright tone so you can just see the difference in how they look um then i'm gonna jump into the triple thick come back and join me on the triple thick because i'm gonna go just a little bit of music just for the people that enjoy it for aesthetic reasons and then i'm gonna come back and on the triple thick and show you guys um something i did wrong something that happened something you guys had asked about that finally happened to me so i'll be back in about a minute All right, y'all. So this is after I had done two or maybe three layers of triple thick. And so someone had asked me about this, but it hadn't happened to me. You see how it's kind of cloudy? And it has been three hours since the last coat I did. And it's giving me that cloud cast. And, I, and my, my, my good mind told me to just leave it and see what it eventually go away. Because that happens with Mod Podge. The more layers you start to get, the longer it takes to dry. But my anxiety was like, peel it up. And so <laughs> that's what I did. And so I went in and like the part that seems super cloudy and super thick, I just, you see, I'm just taking some little, these are actually eyebrow scissors in case you're wondering where to get them kind of scissors. They're just eyebrow scissors, eyebrow hair scissors, way eyebrows are hair. Anyways, and so I'm just peeling that part up trying to clean it up as nice as I can 
I thought I was going to try to use sandpaper, but I had tried and it was uh, it didn't like that. So I'm, I'm after that, I don't, again, I think it's because it wasn't cured. And so I'm going to just go back in and touch up that spot because it's going to look funky if it's not even. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to just go in and touch it up and see what happens. And so at this point, I was like, there's just too many layers of triple thick on here. I, there was like, like I said, it's either five or six. I want to say it's six layers total of triple thick. You, do, you don't have to go that many layers, but because of how we did the video instead of, because like, I really should have did the vinyl after like the second layer, but because, you know, there was a part one and now we're in part two, I think that was really what was going on. So I tried to patch it up the best I could. Again, I probably should have just left it alone. But I wanted to show you guys that part um, in case this is happening to you. All right. And finally, I'm going to go in with the Mod Podge one. Um, I will get into all my final thoughts in just a second. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more music for you guys. Enjoy it. And then I'm going to come and wrap it up and give you guys the whole breakdown, lowdown, and all my thoughts. Alrighty, everyone welcome to the next morning so it's been almost 24 hours since I started this whole project and let's just break it down and so let's go ahead and start with the Mod Podge because this one is a there's a clear distinct difference between this one and these two so I'm gonna move these ones off to the side that's the bright tone and the triple thick can you tell which is which we'll talk about it and so this is the Mod Podge one, and so there are four layers of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge on here. And if you guys need me to do a video on dishwasher safe, food safe, um, FDA compliant to know the difference, let me know. My assumption is you guys are doing your research on when selecting which products to use on whatever craft you're doing, but I feel like there's been some confusion in the comments, and so if you guys need me to do that, let me know and I can put um, something together. I was planning on doing an epoxy safety video anyways. Um, so if you want me to throw that in there, let me know. Anyways, and so you can see we finally started to get some shine on this cup after four layers. Um, I intentionally made the layers very thin. And so I feel like, remember how when I first did it and it had like three layers on it, you could hear it. So now... Still has some noise, but it's not sounding or feeling like sandpaper anymore, which is nice. Um, you guys saw that I had a lot of trouble getting this to stick to it. Um, and so I feel like at this point, the Mod Podge has definitely helped seal it on there. So I don't think it's going to come off like it's on there unless you like really like pick at it or take something like a weeding tool and just like pull it up. Um, so I think it's on there pretty good. However, just aesthetically and everything like I, I can still feel it like under my hands I don't like to be able to feel my vinyl I like my vinyl to be completely encapsulated um, underneath my my ceiling layer and so that's the only thing that I have with this like I said it's finally starting to get some good shine to it and everything but again it has seven layers of Mod Podge on it and that and if I would have been thinking about doing the vinyl I potentially wouldn't have done the three first and then the vinyl but even still i just feel like it would take a lot of mod podge to get you to a place 
where it looks like an epoxy tumbler. And so this one still for me is in third place. And so I'm going to give you guys a minute. These one is a bright tone. One is a triple thick. Can you tell which is which? Pause the video and leave a comment. Is the this one, which is probably I think it's on the left of your screen. Is this one bright tone or triple thick? And is the one on the right of the screen bright tone or triple thick? Alrighty, so the left is bright tone and the right is triple thick. And so since I already have this one in my hand, let's go ahead and review. So this is the bright tone. And so in total, this has seven or eight layers. I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember while I'm talking about it live. Um, this is seven or eight layers. You guys saw that just like in my other video where I did the plastic Starbucks cup, I did sand after... Um, right before I started and put the vinyl on um, again not instructions that are necessarily on their website but things they just want you to assume um, you guys already heard my whole rant on that so I won't go back into it but the layers are nice smooth and shiny see that's picking up great shine I have the window open so it's looking really good the vinyl is nice and encapsulated under there no issues with that and like I said it's very smooth you know looks good feels good I have no issues with this my issue is just with bright tone the company <laughs> um so yeah I won't get into that too much but again definitely once you get to seven or eight layers you definitely get that that nice shine um that a lot of people look for when they do an epoxy tumbler um again definitely feel like the instructions should say that and I shouldn't have to go digging down a rabbit hole to get them because normal people are going to stop after three or four coats um, unless you know to keep going and that it won't hurt your product. And so I guess Bright Tone is just one of the things you have to have the intuition with to know when to stop. I maybe could have even did one more layer, um, but I feel like at this point it has good shine. It looks good and I have no issues with it. So I already... Like I said in my last video, I already knew this was going to work because I've done it before. Um, that's just how Bright Tone works. So that's the Bright Tone one. And last but certainly not least, this is the triple thick one. So you guys saw after coat two, which is total coat five, I believe. Again, if I'm if I'm wrong if I'm wrong in my words, I will correct it on the bottom of the screen. But you saw I have fixed this part. You maybe can't see it too much now. But kind of right here you can see it a little bit because it was clouding to me um now that i've let it sit about 12 14 hours that clouding appears to be gone and so i don't think triple thick again that's my own fault because when i started this experiment i didn't necessarily plan on doing the vinyl if i had i would have done one layer of triple thick then added the vinyl then did two layers of triple thick because I can still feel it a little bit but you know it's not as encapsulated as it is necessarily under this um, as the bright tone but I can still feel it a little bit but overall it's not something that I feel like bothers me when I hold it or anything like that when I'm holding it like this I can't feel it it's only when I'm intentionally rubbing my finger across it I can feel that it's raised a little bit but it's definitely completely encapsulated under there um, and that doesn't bother me at all and so, like I was saying, I don't know if the triple thick is meant to go five or six layers. And that's why I think I was starting to get that clouding because it was just too many layers on here. And it kind of needed, they needed more time to dry between layers. I was only giving them three hours. But at that point, I really think it just needed more time. Because you can see now that clouding is gone. It's not on there anymore. Um, and I hope the camera's not giving it a white cast because it's, it's not on there anymore. I know we were seeing it over here, but just looking at it in person in the naked eye, that is gone. Um, so yeah, so I think the triple thick does really good with this as well. Like I said, um, I don't know which one is shinier. Honestly, I might, I might even give it to the bright tone for being shinier at this point. Yeah. Hmm. They're both pretty shiny. So make you got to make that decision on your own which one is more aesthetically pleasing to you. This one's the bright tone. This one is a triple thick. So yeah. So but overall I think the triple thick 
they turned out really nicely. Definitely don't think it's supposed to go five or six coats. So if this is something you want to pursue, I would definitely do one layer of triple thick, then put your vinyl, and probably two layers of triple thick on top of your vinyl to get a nice finished look. So yeah, so those are just my final thoughts. Honestly, I knew these, I felt like I, in my heart I knew these two were going to work out the bright tone of the triple thick. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the look I got with the Mod Podge. Like to me, at this point, it's not looking, you know, it's not looking too bad, you know. She may be looking like she in the 12th grade. She hasn't graduated to college yet, you know what I mean? She's not in craft college, but you know, she's definitely still in craft high school. You know, she's getting straight A's. She's working hard. She's getting ready for her senior project. So yeah, Mod Podge still looks like, like I said, we're starting to get that shine come in. Um, if you're adventurous enough and you want to go more than the seven layers or eight layers that's on here, do so. Um, but yeah, I was definitely surprised at how far we've been able to bring this cup in this video. And so those are my final thoughts, you guys. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Also, please don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. I will leave them all in the description box below. Um, join our private Facebook group if you purchase my glitter or you're just interested in seeing what other people are making with our glitter. We have some people over there doing some really awesome things. And so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.